Are you dreaming about buying an RV? Do you find it challenging to figure out which model is best for your lifestyle? Well, you're not alone. The demand for recreational vehicles has soared with buyers searching for ways to escape their homes and enjoy the outdoors. There's plenty of competition for buyers of new and used RVs. So maneuvering in this market can be challenging with the shortage of supply and escalating prices. So stay tuned to see how you can avoid making a costly mistake when choosing the right RV. Hello, my name is John, and this is my first video for Seeking to be Free, a channel I am creating to share information about my pursuit of a lifestyle of travel and outdoor adventures. For this video, I will touch on the RV lifestyle, including my purchase of a Class C motorhome. Choosing the right RV can be an overwhelming process. When my wife and I started looking to purchase our first RV, we visited multiple dealerships, attended shows, watched YouTube videos, and surfed the web to gain as much information as we could to choose the right RV for our lifestyle. In this first video, I will share the process we went through in selecting the right RV for us and provide a brief overview of the model we chose, a 2019 Leisure Travel Vans Wonder RTB, a rear twin bed floor plan built on a Ford Transit chassis. In my next video, I will provide a more detailed two-year review of the Wonder RTB, including our impressions after driving it for over 50,000 miles. I will also provide a comparison of our 2019 to the newer models, including some tips, tricks, and lessons learned along the way. The first step in our selection process was to create three lists to prioritize how we plan to use our RV and the functions that were most important to us. The three lists were a list of our purchase criteria, a list of our preferences, and a list of our low priorities. The first list for our purchase criteria was the most important. These were the must-haves or deal killers for us. Our purchase criteria included five main items. Number one, we wanted a small footprint, something that was self-contained for dry camping and could maneuver easily in urban areas, less than eight feet wide, for parking and under 27 feet in length, which is the average maximum length allowed for camping at national parks. Number two, for us, having separate living and sleeping areas was important to accommodate our different sleeping habits and for privacy. Number three, we wanted a dry bath with a separate toilet and shower areas. Number four, we needed extra storage for bikes and gear for backpacking and camping. We enjoy outdoor activities and wanted to use the RV to extend our adventures. Number five, our budget. We wanted to keep the purchase costs within a budget we had for our upcoming retirement. To narrow down our choices of potential RVs further, we made a second list that considered our preferences, not deal killer items, but features that could help in the process of elimination. Again, we used a list of our top five for our list of preferences. Number one, we preferred a diesel engine. We owned other vehicles with diesel engines and were confident in their reliability, performance, and fuel economy. Number two, we wanted an RV on an American-made chassis and preferred a non-Mercedes vehicle. I want to avoid debating the pros and cons of cost, quality, safety, and maintenance when comparing the Mercedes Sprinter to other vehicles. I would just say for us, the Mercedes was not a preference and did not fit within our budget. Number three, we preferred to have reliable dealer service nearby for the RV. Number four, we preferred an RV that had the ability to adapt easily to solar power or was already fitted with solar panels and inverter that met our needs for the occasional dry camping. Number five, we preferred to have four seatbelts in the coach to carry additional passengers. To narrow our RV choices down even further, it was crucial that we consider factors that were not important to us in choosing the right RV to avoid being influenced by features that were unnecessary for our use. There were only a few items in our list of low priorities that may be more important to other buyers, but were not a factor for us in choosing the right RV. Number one, towing capacity. Since we wanted a small footprint, we did not want to tow a second vehicle. The few times we wanted to explore an area without breaking camp, we either cycled, took an Uber, or rented a car. Number two, four season versus three season. Since we live in North Carolina and our winter season is typically very mild, the need for a four-season RV was not necessary. During periods of extended low temperatures, we simply winterized the water system, 
and dewinterize again if the weather turns warmer. We've repeated this process several times during each of the previous two winter seasons, and we've gotten the procedure down to less than 30 minutes. Number three, for the same reasons we did not need a four-season RV, we did not need a four-wheel or all-wheel drive vehicle. Although this may be a nice feature for slippery roads and occasional off-road adventure, we were not looking to spend the extra cost or have lower fuel economy and higher maintenance for a 4x4 or an all-wheel drive vehicle. We came to several conclusions at the end of our selection process for choosing the right RV for us. A van-like vehicle fit best for our lifestyle and personal needs. However, we found that most Class B vans lacked features that were important to us. We wanted more interior room and comfort than what a Class B van typically offers, but we wanted to avoid the traditional Class C look of a camper since it would occasionally be used to travel for business, and we wanted to avoid problems with aesthetics for our neighborhood. Class A motorhomes are ruled out due to their overall size and our budget. This had us looking closer at what some manufacturers market as Class B plus vehicles typically a cutaway van chassis with a small coach body mounted behind the cab. The B-plus is a hybrid between a Class B van and a traditional Class C camper, with increased length and slightly wider footprint, providing more space for amenities and even slide-outs in some models. Class B-plus is not an official industry name, and they are registered and insured in most states as Class C vehicles. We looked at many RV manufacturers, including Winnebago, Pleasure Way, Road Trek, Airstream, Coachman, Forest River, and a few others. However, by using the process we established to search for the best RV for us, we narrowed down the number of manufacturers and floor plans very quickly. Most models were eliminated due to our desire for separate living and sleeping areas and our preference for a dry bath. In the end, our process of elimination led us to leisure travel vans. For anyone not familiar with leisure travel vans, I will provide a quick overview. Leisure travel vans, or LTV for short, are manufactured by Triple E in Winkler, Manitoba, Canada. They've been in the business of manufacturing recreational vehicles for over 50 years. Their dedicated employees build with pride and craftsmanship inherit with the Mennonite-based work ethic in the community. I can tell you from my experience, they focus on quality over production speed and have excellent customer service. LTV designers and R&D teams work closely with their sales team and customers to create innovative floor plans that are functional and comfortable spaces that make the RV experience more enjoyable. Any comparison to other manufacturers should put them in the top tier of anybody's list. Leisure Travel Vans offers three models with a total of 11 floor plans. The Serenity model is built on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis and has one floor plan. The standard has a corner bed in the rear with an optional trifold sofa. I should note that Leisure Travel Vans suspended production of the Serenity model in 2020. The Unity model is also built on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis and has six floor plans. The Murphy bed with a pull-down bed up front. The FX with a Murphy bed in front and lounge in the rear. The Twin bed with twin beds in the rear. The Island bed with a large bed centered in the rear. The corner bed with a bed in the rear and a dinette or optional U-shaped lounge in the front that converts into a bed. And the rear lounge with power recliners in the rear that converts to a pull-down Murphy bed and an option to convert the front dinette into a second bed. The Wonder model is built on the Ford Transit chassis and has four plans to choose from. The rear twin bed or RTB which has two twin beds in the rear. The front twin bed, or FTB, which has two twin beds in the front. The Murphy bed, with a pull-down bed in the front. And the rear lounge, with recliners and a Murphy bed in the rear. These motorhomes are ideal for two people and are not intended to accommodate large families. The Serenity model, Unity corner bed, and Unity rear lounge floor plans can sleep four and have four seat belts. The Unity twin bed and island bed floor plans can sleep two with four seat belts. All other floor plans are built to sleep to with two seat belts in the cab. So back again to our selection process for choosing the right RV for us. As it turned out, our first list for the purchase criteria of five items eliminated many RVs from contention. In the end, we were able to meet all five items in our purchase criteria and all but one item on our list of five preferences with the RV we selected. 
Leisure Travel Vans Wonder was a model that met our needs the best, and the rear twin bed floor plan checked most of the boxes. There is no perfect RV, and with choosing the best model, there are always trade-offs. Our preference for four seatbelts was a feature not available on the Wonder models. The Wonder rear twin bed layout with separate living areas and rear garage were the main attractions for us. At the time we started our search in mid-2018, the RTB floor plan was new to Leisure's lineup, so there was limited availability across their dealer network. Fortunately, we were able to locate a new RTB that a local dealer already had ordered and was scheduled to be delivered several months later. We purchased our Wonder RTB from Howard RV Center in Wilmington, North Carolina, and our salesman was Tom McNiff. Howard RV was very helpful in our purchase process, and like all RVs, there are always a few minor warranty items to take care of. Howard's service department handled these very professionally and were extremely patient with our rookie mistakes as new RV owners. I'd like to provide a brief overview of my personal impressions of the Wonder RTB after two years and over 50,000 miles of ownership. I continue to use it for both personal and business travel, which accounts for the high miles for a two-year-old RV. It also means that we have more experience with the Wonder RTB since it was a new model when we purchased it. At under 25 feet long, less than eight feet wide and 10 feet tall, the Wonder size provides an efficient footprint that's small enough to fit width-wise in a standard parking space like a Class B van, but offers more space for amenities like a Class C motorhome. The small footprint, low profile, no slide outs on the Wonder makes stealth camping in urban areas a lot easier. And the separate living area that can be divided off provides more privacy and security when boondocking in public areas. Our 2019 Wonder was built on Ford Transit's 350 HD chassis with a 3.2 liter five cylinder turbocharged diesel engine delivering 185 horsepower and 350 foot pounds of torque. The automatic transmission has six speeds with dual overdrives and a select shift manual override. Driving our Wonder RTB for over 50,000 miles, we traveled on highways, narrow city streets, and winding mountain roads. The drivetrain always provided the power needed for every task while averaging 17 to 19 miles per gallon on highway and 15 to 16 miles per gallon in the city. The ride is comfortable and stable. I actually drove our Wonder through a tropical storm last year and was confident in the way it handled. The Wonder has over 67 cubic feet of exterior storage space, including the pass-through rear garage with dual access doors. There is a sliding tray on the passenger side of the garage, which I installed fork mounts to hold two bikes. With the Wonder RTB's cargo capacity being less than a thousand pounds when loaded with fuel and water, I can't fill up the garage with stuff like I do at home. Towing capacity is limited to 2,000 pounds on the Wonder RTB, making towing another vehicle impractical. The interior of the Wonder RTB is very functional and meets our needs for separate living and sleeping areas. The galley is open and light with plenty of work areas for cooking and enough cabinets, drawers, and pantry space for storage. A three-way refrigerator, convection microwave oven, and two-burner gas stove makes being on the road convenient with all the comforts of home. The dry bath with separate toilet and shower area divides the bedroom from the galley area. The twin beds in the rear can be converted to a queen-size bed, and a second rear television makes for a private bedroom suite. There's plenty of storage underneath both beds, including two full-sized hanging closets, and cabinets above provides plenty of space for storing clothes and gear for longer trips. The functionality and creature features squeezed into a small Class C body does sacrifice some interior roominess. It may seem slightly cramped for taller people, especially in the bedroom area where the floor steps up to accommodate the rear garage. The features and driving stability of Ford Transit's chassis combined with the build quality and amenities of a leisure travel van has made the Wonder RTB a safe, enjoyable, and very comfortable choice for us. I want to point out that leisure travel vans updated their Wonder models with the new Ford Transit chassis in 2020. I will be going more in depth with some of the key differences between my 2019 and newer models in a later video, including the new Wonder models with Ford's 3.5-liter EcoBoost gas-powered engine. 
For now, check out the LTV website, leisurevans.com, which offers excellent photographs, videos, and specifications on all their current models. I hope this video helps potential buyers in making their selection of the right RV a little easier. For future videos on this channel, I will cover my travels, adventures, and family activities. Let me know if you have any suggestions or questions for the next video in the comments below. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you keep seeking to be free.